Good evening, and welcome to another one of my episodes of A Verse A Day Keeps the Muslims Away. Today, again, I'm not going to be using the Quran, and as I will be talking about marriage, al zawaj. In Islam, under Sharia law, marriage is a fascinating process for both the woman and the man. However, it's far more exciting for the woman. And you'll see what I mean in a little bit. First of all, when a man sees a woman that he wants to marry, of course he has to ask for her from her parents. Her parents then set the dowry. Okay? They set how much the husband the future husband needs to pay. But, the, but keep in mind they set two different dowries Al-Mu'addam and Al-Mu'akhar Al-Mu'addam is the money paid up front and Al-Mu'akhar is money paid when the woman is returned to the house essentially when she's divorced so now we've set two prices for the woman and the husband has paid the mu'addam and now they're married wonderful so imagine now they're living together and the woman's unhappy and she decides to leave her husband's house and just go stay at her mom's house for a couple of days it happens it happens to a lot of people you know newlyweds the husband then has the right to go to the courts and under under Sharia laws he can bring his wife back to the house in something called using something called Bayt al ta Bayt al ta is the house of obedience or house of submissiveness this is where the police go and grab the woman from where she is bring her to her husband's house and now she's under house arrest this is called Beit al ta and every single Arab out there you know what I'm talking about now there are actually rules and regulations as to what can and what what can she and cannot have in Beit al ta generally when she is placed under these rules and regulations, she is supposed to be in a room by herself. She's not supposed to have any of her family members, any of her husband's family members, and any of the family members of her darra. And darra is the other wife of the husband. So in case the husband has three or four wives, you know, she, she's supposed to be secluded from everyone. Now, while she is under Beit ta she may leave the house only with the permission of her husband and when she leaves the house she is expected to return you know with a certain curfew and this keeps going on until he goes back to the court and to, you know releases her from Beit al Ta once she's, once she's become obedient and submissive enough to where you don't need the police to enforce it Alright, let's take the same couple. Now, let's say they have two children. I don't know, a three-year-old and a four-year-old. Three-year-old boy and a four-year-old girl. And the husband now decides to divorce the woman. <clears throat> Let me backtrack a little bit. Before you get married, there's something called al-asma. Al-asma is the power to divorce the other person. By default, al-asma is in the hand of the husband. Now, now, it is possible for a woman to demand that al-asma to be given to her to where she can divorce the husband. But it's very rare and I've only seen it in certain movies. Um, <clears throat> now, when, when the husband is going to divorce the woman, all he needs to do is say, tall it. Talit, talit, or talit bil talata. Say you're divorced, you're divorced, you're divorced, or you're divorced three times. 
Once you say that word three times, the woman is divorced and that's it. And at which point she has to leave her husband's house and go back to her parents' house. Now, being that he has returned the merchandise, there's a restocking fee. That was the muakhar that we talked about earlier, the second part of the dowry. So he has to pay her family, you know, the other part of the money that they had agreed upon. And yes, it's very generous, you know, that helps her get, get back on her feet. Now her children, the three-year-old and the four-year-old, you know what? More than likely the husband's not going to want them. However, if he wants them, he can have them. However, the courts under Sharia law allows the woman to have the children. Isn't that nice? Until, until the boy turns seven, he goes to his father's house and until the girl turns nine, she goes to her father's house. So, you now have this mother that has been tortured, trapped in a room by herself, has, had, had been divorced, had raised two children, one to the age of seven, the other till the age of nine, and now she has to relinquish them and give them up because now they belong to the father. That just burns a mother's heart. That just breaks your heart. Uh, and I don't know of any of you out there, how can you even agree to doing that? Um, I was reading about Beit al -Ta earlier, the house of submission, the house of obedience, and I just noticed that uh, <clears throat> Kuwait uh, had, you know, had some issues with it, so they changed the name instead of Beit al -Ta, to Beit al -Zawjiyah, the house of the wife. Problem solved. Now, it's, it's the same rules and everything, but they just say, they just give it a better name, and it sounds better. Alright, you have a good evening, and I'll see you guys later.